My name is Sao San. I'm seven years old and I come from far away. I loved my city of Beirut, but then a war started. And everything changed. Parents decided we had to find a safer place to live. The place they chose was Canada. That was my first time on a plane. Ladies and gentlemen, although the seatbelt sign has been switched off at this time, we would like to suggest the use of the seatbelt. I was so sick that nobody wanted to sit near me. After we got to Canada, my dad took me to my new school. It didn't look very new to me. When we got to my classroom, my dad said, be good, Sosan, and try to make some new friends. The kids in the class were all talking to me, but I couldn't understand them. I didn't speak English. That first day was horrible. I had no idea how I was supposed to learn English fast enough to make friends before they were all in sixth grade. Suddenly, I had to pee. Well, I had to go now. But how could I ask to go if I couldn't speak English? So. A whole month passed and I still didn't understand a word that anyone said. <sighs> One day we had a very strange guest visit us. She argued with herself a lot. <laughs> and just when I thought I had made out a word or two, it happened again. I had to go. I had no choice but to sneak out again. Better at it too. I thought I was back in the war. I couldn't move. My teacher tried to explain that the skeleton was just paper and that it was for Halloween. But I forgot. I had to pee!
My dad told me about Halloween and said it was a holiday where people dressed up and had fun. He said there was nothing to be scared of in this country. This year is my second Halloween and I dressed up as a cat for a big party at school. <gasps> my English is much better too. And I haven't peed on anyone all year. 